Hi, this is Calvos, and we are playing Enigmatica 2. So, <clears throat> this is pretty much where I'm setting up auto crafting. Um, as you can see, I've made some some little progress. I've got uh, quantum link chamber powered. I've got ten channels because of you know that and these other things and stuff. So don't remember how much of the system I showed you before but I've I've made some changes here I've neatened the entire thing up so I've set it up like this um, so each each section you know this pulls 10 channels off, or 32, and then it divides it here to the end, uh, and then these are, you know, to the middle two, and then these go to the end two, and then this is where our, our main stuff is down there. So I also moved the power over to the dense cube, and you'll notice that I've got uh, these peer-to-peer -peer tunnels in the inside of it, and then uh, on the bottom, let's uh, show you what I did, I guess. So if you look, I've also got peer-to-peer -peer tunnels here, um, and then I use the quartz fiber to, to separate them, so it, uh, it only follows this line across, and then up, and then there and there and then there and there and there um, and it all goes into this dense smart cable now I tried to figure out how to make this work a little bit better but in the end I decided that this was the best way of doing it so that's four that's four that's four that's four that's four that's four and then we have the four in the middle underneath, and then the eight around the outside. So that's 28 channels worth of peer-to-peer of, uh, -peer networking there. So now, whenever I need a channel, uh, and you'll notice that I, I just have it going straight back into the controller. So whenever I need a channel, I can just go ahead and mark a channel somewhere there. I'm going to probably start with the bottom ones. And then I can go, you know, to say the crafting uh, chamber and and set it up. Just pull the channel out of any line. Uh, and then I could even pull a, a, a network out of one of the network ones. So I can you know, I, I have 28 times 3 channels that I can just pull out really anywhere that I, I feel like pulling them out. So, you know, it's definitely one way of doing it. Um, I don't know if it's the best way of doing it, but, you know, it saves me a lot of hassle. And if I really get super excited about it, I can do the same thing with these on the outside faces and have access to more. So I mean, realistically, if I if I was so inclined, I could actually make 100% use of my setup here. I would just need a a second controller to um uh to handle all of the channels, I would basically make, you know, a, a server, as it were, I guess, I don't know, however you'd want to call it, a router. Because, um, I mean, if you think about it, the inside is basically, uh, what would that be? Four times six, 24... Two, three, four, five, six. Four times six. So that would be twenty-four, and then the uh, 
the outer faces would add another 8 times 6. So we're actually looking at 12 times 6. So we could have 72 times, you know, uh, 32 channels, which you know, we could do. So 32, 32, we could probably handle all of that with a single separate processor on the side here, just have everything networked into it and then just run everything off of that and then pull it out. It'd be a little weird, but it could, it could work. Um, so one of the difficulties that I'm having is, is that this set of channels for some reason, I'm not sure why. Let me fix the floor, I guess. But um, every time I start, every time I start this, I have to come break this particular cable uh, and then replace it. So I'm a little concerned, and it's chunk loaded. So I shouldn't be having too many problems with it but I am. So I was setting up auto crafting here and I don't know whether anybody actually wants to see me set it up and I don't precisely need it right now. So what we'll do is we'll, I'll, I'll leave that for an episode or two and uh, we'll see if anybody is, is interested in seeing me set up auto crafting for the uh, inscribers. I suspect not. You never know. Um, and by an episode I two or two, I mean, well, we'll see how impatient I get. Because I'm actually nearly a week ahead. I'm four days ahead for my recording. So right now it is the 6th of February for me. Um, and I have episodes recorded until uh, Monday Monday yeah Monday's the last so I have three days ahead recorded uh, I thought I was gonna be a little bit further ahead but honestly setting up some of this and doing all the the crafting manually has has been time-consuming because I mean you remember what the molecular assemblers look right like right so I had all of this stuff set up, and then we needed the interfaces. And there, you know, so just setting up all the formation and the annihilation cores is kind of a an exciting thing, because really the big thing is these logic processors. I have made a ton of them. So if you think about it, each one of these is basically two processors, uh, or two cores, and you know, excluding the fact that you 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 make them, you know, one annihilation and a formation core, you still get two, and each processor gives you two. So it's two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I had to make, what is that, uh, 39 uh, of the, the uh, whatchamacallits, the logic processors. And then we have the inscribers that I'm working my way through. These are probably going to be set up for silicon. And I'm just not sure how exactly I want to set them up, whether I, I go fully AE and I just hope that it's fast enough, um, or if I want to have a, a reservoir in advance. So, there, there are arguments for however we would want to do it. So, we'll leave that for now and I will get back to it at some point in the future. So, looking at our quest book, where are we at? 
mechanism made me cry, so I don't know if I want to do mechanism right now. We've got this. Okay, got that in a uh, loot crate. But how many precision sawmills do we have at this point? Surely a lot. Uh, also, I'm thinking of uh, expanding our storage. We'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, so that's done. Now, I have not yet automated uh, withers. I was going to, and I haven't. I mean, I've got some some wither skeleton skulls. What I am running into is soul sand. You know, oops, we don't want to do that. So what is the recipe that we can make for soul sand? So wither dust, we can actually turn wither dust into soul sand. So that's, um, how much wither dust do we have? Wither dust, oh, we have quite a lot of it. So we could reasonably, you know, automate soul sand pretty, pretty well. Um, so we could automate withers. I I'm trying to remember. How we want to do that. Sour meatballs. I would definitely like to to one hundred percent of the uh, the pack. But some of these I find very frustrating. So let's work. Let's finish working our way through the generators because we're we're almost there. Um, and we'll see how far we get. So, so we just need to cook some of this. should be a culinary generator. So now we want the magmatic and the heated redstone. Magmatic. Now this is actually one of the ones that we want two of. Only I could click in the right spot, right? So we'll grab one of these. Chemical thrower. Nice. So now... Let's make a heated redstone generator. Oh, sponge. why we needed two of them. Heated redstone generator. Toss that in there. Now 
Hey, yet another builder's wand. Ender generator and a potion generator. So that's these two. Oh, resonant conversion kit. Uh, we'll just toss them in here for now. So, next two. We want the pink generator and an enchanter. somewhere that we were messing with. Guess what, guys? Pink dye. And we need an enchanter. Is it this one? So, we need lapis and pretty much anything else. A book. And we'll toss that in there. Wait a minute. Why is that nearly full? Another boomerang. Because who doesn't need a million of them? Um, do we have a quotient here?
me look. Crafting table. Okay. So, this is one of the coolest things about mechanism. All of the other nonsense is great, but that is amazing. So let's get that, and then we'll get some sand. And we'll get a, uh, let's, some cactus. they be doing their thing, I guess? I don't know. Whatever. So, fluid out. Because of the, um, whatchamacallit, I knew that. So let's give it a fluid duct, and we'll give it a flux duct, and an item duct. So, duct. Flux duct. Fluid duct. that. Now we shouldn't have to worry as much about, you know, sugar cane. For paper. For all of the paper. So we've got a book, now we need some lapis and, I don't know, we can just toss this because this is garbage. Recipes, it's the cheapest one. So a feather. that and I think now it goes in here and then feather <laughs> boom so now I think that we should be able to make the enchanter which will 
call it after this. If I could just type. Alright, Enchanter. We don't really care about the Enchanter, honestly. So, um, yeah, this is a good place to call it. I'm glad you guys came. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. If you don't, don't. Questions, comments, concerns can all go below. I hope you folks have a great night.